In this video, we're going to look at under the hood controls on Mtron Mark II. And it's here where you can fine tune the instrument in ways that far exceed that of the original Mark II. The first thing we do is click on Key Edit, which opens the hood of Mtron Mark II and reveals four controls per key that can be individually adjusted. Starting from the top, we have Tape Start, where we can adjust the start point of any note across either of the manuals. A good way to get to grips with this is via a sound with a sharp attack. In this case, we'll use the Mark II Vibes. When we turn up the Tape Start, you hear the attack portion get removed. Normal movement is done via left mouse click and fine adjustments are done by holding down the shift key. And you can hear and see that we've shaved off the attack on this bottom G. Now if you want, you can take the time to do this for every single note, but it's fair to say that's going to get tedious quickly. So we have some modifiers that will help speed everything up. For example, holding down Alt key and then clicking and moving a knob will also move all other knobs in that manual, as seen here. Left click is for big adjustments. Shift key and click is for small adjustments. Next are the detune knobs, which starting from a 12 o'clock position, turning anti-clockwise will detune the note and turning clockwise will increase the tuning. I believe it was Robert Fripp who said, tuning a Mellotron doesn't, but here it will, or won't, depending on your own taste. Because while the tapes chosen for the Mark II were the best in the Streetly tape archives, the truth is, that creating subtle pitch discrepancies for each note makes the instrument both truly authentic and come alive when played as part of a composition. Again, using shift click will give you fine adjustment over any individual pitch changes. Plus, using the ALT key will apply the same changes to all notes in the bank. Remember too, that if you want to return any parameter back to its default, just hold the COMMAND key on Mac or CONTROL on PC and click. The blue coloured knobs are for tape pan and using these you can place any note wherever you want in the stereo field. Naturally, anti-clockwise turns progressively pans the note left and vice versa. And this is especially useful for creating a stretch pan across the 35 notes of a lead manual where lower notes start on the left and move progressively to the right as you play higher up the scale. Not dissimilar to sitting and playing a piano. Finally, we have key click. Now this only works when the front panel tape rewind buttons are active and where our virtual tapes take a couple of seconds to rewind after the eight second duration has been reached. Essentially, if you play a note on during this two second rewind, the note will start at the point during the rewind, but with the classic Mark II key click heard at the note on. This knob alters the level of that key click. From noticeable, To blindingly obvious.
Once you've created a template that works for you, naturally you can save it via the key edit save preset button here. We've also provided several presets of our own that can be loaded into the left, right or both manuals via the aptly named load button. Click on this and you'll be given the choice of where you want them to load. Either way, the controls in key edit are where you can really make Mtron Mark II your own.